All right, this is uh, part two of my Talalay mattress. It's 14 inches total, okay? And plus, that's my, there's no box spring. I just got slats going across. Now they're three inches apart. Does fine. Um, I use two by fours and just run them three inches apart. Used uh, tapping screws, put them in there, fine. Now, one thing I can gather from this is you do not tug and pull on this mattress because this stuff does not slide at all. So the trick is, is you just flop it to get it to go where you want it to. You do not grab a hold of it and start pulling on it because you will rip it. It's very, very delicate as far as being pulled on, but it takes pressure wise, it takes it very good. Now, here I'm going to do a review of what I think, because I can't show you because I'm holding my phone, but from what I think of the difference between 100% Talalay, Talalay or however you want to want to pronounce it, 100% medium. This is a medium, and now this is a firm Dunlop. Now the touch is very soft, like, but it's still supportive. Like if I put if I lean against this and I'm on one foot. You got that much sink into it. My foot's going to stay the same, so the pressure should stay the same. Now, that's how far that sinks in. So there is a little bit difference. Not much, but there is. Now, as far as the touch-wise, now it, it's, it's about another probably quarter of an inch to a half inch difference depth when you push on it. But this has a very fluffier feel. It's, it's something, man. I mean, it's, this stuff is really, really something. I am glad I did the research for myself and, and found what I wanted. Now, this still, when you lay on it, it's still going to hold your body up very well. There is no doubt about it. Now, if you want a plush feel, like a real, real soft at the top, and then you want to... Uh, my suggestion, since I, and I haven't tried this, but my suggestion is, I haven't even laid on this, but I will. Oh, oh yeah, this is, this is the best. This is the best, and you don't sink very far into it. Like, you still stay on it, so um, here you go. You still stay on the mattress. Now, I do sink a little bit more, just a little bit. Maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe, you know, close to a half an inch difference is depth. But I don't feel like I'm sinking at all. I just feel like I laid down, something caught me, and that's what it feels like. So, you can tell my arm's not sinking. It's staying right on top. It's not sinking at all. There's no pressure. There's no pressure indention. It's just, and but it is very bouncy. It feels like it's got springs in it, which I like. I like the feel. Now, it feels very velvety. Now, it does have a smell, but it's not a bad smell. So anybody's like, oh, it's got a smell. It's got to, you go smell a poly foam. You want to talk about something. That's nothing but chemicals. At least this is all natural material. You know, it kind of smells like, it don't even smell like rubber to me. It smells like sort of like a vanilla. It's it's strange. I like the smell of it. I don't I don't mind the smell at all. I like the smell of it. Now I don't know. Oh, that's where I put I just put my shoe on there. That was probably a bad thing to do. But anyway. Yeah, I just stuck my foot on there. Um but it but anyway, yeah, you can see my you can't see it like looking at it, but I can see it in the mirror or in the phone or the, the picture. But anyway, it'll just be fine. I'll take a damp cloth maybe and wipe it up. But anyway, this is the medium you can see, and it's 100% organic. Both of these matches, both of these, these phones. Now, you see how this is twisted, you see? Now, if I grab on this and start pulling on it, it is definitely going to rip. So what you want to do is you grab this and you flop it until it goes where you want it to go. And it does go, it just has to give. And this right here is not wanting to give. So I'm probably on the wrong corner. There we go. Do it from the side. You want it to go to the side, over to that side, you flip it and make it go like an ocean, like a wave. And then it goes over to that side. You just got to be careful how hard you do it because it'll go too far. And then you got to go back over and do it because I'm off right here. But nobody ever did like soft comparison between 
you know, the two. So this, I'm going to do it again because it's something that I was looking at. There you go. You get, that's the medium, medium Talalay. It is definitely softer at the touch. It does give more. Now here is on the side. And now here's the, the firm. So there's a difference, but not a huge difference. But it does, this is t softer to the feel. So I'm going to straighten this back out, get my cover on, and I'm going to try to feel how this, this actually feels. Now I can't really show you me laying on it as good because I'm doing this by myself as usual. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see my print very good on there. So this absorbs dirt <laughs> and it won't come off either. Like I'm rubbing it and then it just won't come off. But uh, so note self, don't put your foot no dirt and stuff on on the on your foam get it zipped up in your in your uh cover now i will be getting the better cover from um see this stuff's paper thin it is it's really thin it stretches and then you got the uh i paid 45 dollars so i'll use this for a little while and this right here is waterproof up top it do, this thing doesn't breathe i don't think because i tried to blow through it and it wouldn't now this is like a cotton on top but on the back side same material but it's got a plastic it's got a plastic like a some kind of real soft plastic inside it's not really like plastic bag or anything but it's kind of smooth um, but it keeps moisture from coming through in case you'd happen to drink something which i don't understand why anybody be eating and drinking in your bed when you pay so much money for one so I plan on having this for a long time, so I want to take care of it. My, I put a, I'm going to tuck all this in because I, 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 I built me a, built me a bed frame. It's all out two by tens. Now you can't see it real good, but I did a whitewash on it. Looks really good, I think. This is my first time doing this too. So you can see the whitewash. There, this phone does not want to focus. You can see, you still see the wood grain running through it. I'm kind of happy. I just all out two by tens, and now I'll use two by four slats across. Now, what I'm going to do to keep more from wearing my springs, because this has fabric over top of it, so you don't want a hole wore into this. This all breathable too. It's like perforated. But I put this under so it's not my mattress is not straight onto the slats to where it'll move around and where you know where the backside material um, so i did do that i'm going to tuck all this in so you don't see it so you'll actually see the see this so i hope you like these videos i'm doing this for the benefit of the knowledge for other people for the knowledge that i have gathered over a year's time doing research on all kinds of mattresses and what they're made out of and how secure they are how long they last and and I know people it's got different mattresses and, and a lot of them don't like them because they're supposed to be the expensive mattresses and they get them home sleep on for a while and they just hate it so I'm doing this for you the people so like and subscribe and I'm gonna do it I'm gonna get this zipped up and see if this cover fits very well then I'll give you another and then I'll do an, uh, a review on, on my uh, all natural latex pillows.